Hey, I'm Josh. Hey, I'm Jeremy. I'm Zach. And I'm Haley. We're Paramore. And how did your band get started? Who wants to talk about I will. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Well, we've been a band for about four years. And how we started was Zach and I were going to school like any other normal teenagers. And we met Haley at school. And Zach introduced me to her because <clears throat> she was new. And he was like, dude, you got to meet this girl. Her name's Haley. She plays guitar and she sings. And I was like, cool. And at the time, we needed a lead singer for our band. So we asked her to come try out. And she was freaking rock solid. And we <laughs> asked her to join. She had an amazing set of pipes. And no, she, like, she started writing with us. And it all went together perfectly. And Well, then. Yeah. Well, at the same time. Well, Haley hooked us up with Jeremy because we needed mm -hmm. a bass player. Because Haley was currently in a band, a cover band with, with Haley or with, with Jeremy. Sorry. <laughs> we should do that part. Okay. Yeah. Just... Anyways, I'll start. Mm -hmm. Right. Cut. <laughs> Haley at the time was in a band with Jeremy. They were a cover band. They covered funk songs and like R and B, soul, all that stuff. Sure. And so she was like, "I got a bass player for your band or our band now," and he came over. We all jammed one day and ate Taco Bell and it was an awesome day yeah. and we decided to be a band. Yep. That's so good. <laughs> Is there any meaning behind the band name? Yeah. Um, so we chose Paramore because well, for one we just really loved the way it sounded. We thought it just seemed really, like a really cool vibey name um, but we didn't really stick with it until right before our first show because we were so nervous about you know trying to find the right name and being so cool and rock star, and uh, you know we just started looking up different words and researching um, meanings behind words. And and when we were looking up Paramore, we found that it had a couple really cool meanings. One is secret love, and one is for love. And we thought that was something that was good to stand for. So let's talk about your new single, Nobody Business. Can you talk about how the song came about, mm. the concept behind it? Okay. Do you want to talk about that or me? Go ahead. I mean, you'll do most of the talking because <laughs> okay. you explain the song best. Okay. Um, so about a year ago, we were on a tour called the Take Action Tour, and I got really sick. So we ended up staying in a hotel for like two days, waiting on me to get better. Um, the guys had a lot of time just to jam out, waiting for me to get out of bed and, and uh, Josh ended up writing this riff that was just really aggressive that sounded so cool and that's when we started writing the song Misery Business and we took that home with us and practiced at our rehearsal space and I started writing um, a story, it's a true story about this girl who sort of came into our circle of friends you know back home I feel like we have a really tight-knit group of friends and this, this chick just sort of came in and, she, and I felt like she started to hurt someone that I really loved. It really hurt me because I, you know, I loved this dude a lot. He was one of my best friends and um, I guess it just finally all came out. I was holding it in for a while and uh, that's misery business. So it's a really honest song. Let's talk a little bit about the video and just, you know, concept behind the video, how it was shooting the video. Okay. Well, we shot the video with Shane Drake, who, uh, wait, we're looking at the camera, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, for, I mean, for a second I was like, Shane? Totally okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Well, we shot the video for Misery Business with Shane Drake, who has done our past two videos for Pressure and Emergency, and we love that guy so much, and um, so we decided to do Misery Business with him, and it you know, we weren't exactly sure what we wanted the video to be, um, but we just bounced ideas off of each other. We worked with him, and, you know, got on several calls with him and just talked about how we could, um, I guess, just portray this song the best through video. And um, so, yeah, we came up with a concept, and it's basically, it's pretty um, straightforward, yeah. wouldn't you say? I mean, yeah, it we, follows the the song really closely. It was just so much fun. It was really tiring because we had to play it over and over again, but mm -hmm. it was so worth it. You know, yeah. we just went crazy and had a great time. Yeah. Did 
Dude, I think my favorite scene, besides the one where Zach tells the girl what's up at the very end, um, is probably when homeboy with the broken arm is walking out of class, or actually he's walking out of the doctor's office, and the, the chick comes up to him and just slams against the wall. See, we, we watched it when Shane was filming it and when they were doing the scene, but in the actual video he sped it up and it like goes in time with the song and watching it, it just seems so like <laughs> intense and I, I love it. I, th I, you know, I thought the guy in the video was really sweet too. He was so nice. <laughs> Good times. Yeah, for sure. oh, poor dude, poor fella. So let's talk about the new album a little bit. How is this <coughs> album different? From your previous album. Okay. That's a dog. Hmm? You can hear Me? Okay, again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, we can all just sort of. Okay. Um, so, Riot, I think, is a lot different from All We Know Is Falling, our debut record. Um, I, I just feel like we grew so much as a band and we've matured and become so much tighter, like not only as friends, but as musicians and. Um, it was just a great experience making this record, and we're, we're really proud of it, so we want everyone to hear it and enjoy it just as much as we do. Sounds good to me. Yeah. <laughs> I know you guys have played everywhere from, like, really little venues to, like, big festivals, like Warped Tour. Mm -hmm. What are some of the best parts about performing live for you? Uh, I think so. Yeah. My favorite part about performing live is definitely the fans and feeding off, of like, them and the energy is it's just ridiculous that's the way we all are if the fans aren't like great and having like a good show and going crazy then like we all kind of come back and we're like did we not play good <laughs> <laughs> we feel kind of bad because like then we kind of rate our show on if we really got the fans into it yeah so that's that's my favorite part about playing that's good yeah. what's it like to you know see these songs you've worked so hard on what's it like to see people just knowing word for word and singing back or singing along with you singing back to you you guys want to do that yeah, okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah you, 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 you take it well oh, man how do i start that it's, um well when we play a show you know like we have a pretty cool fan base like a you know, we're pretty close with a lot of our fans, and they'll come out to the show and they'll scream their heads off, you know. They'll just, they just love our songs, and, like, that to us is the best feeling in the world, and it's, it's really hard to describe. I, don't, I mean, I don't think you can describe it, you know, the fact that you pour your heart out into writing, you know, the, these records for, or these songs for, you know, not only for the love of music, but for them as well. It's and then they come support you, and you know they're singing every word, and it, and even sometimes it changes people's lives. It's just weird to think, but it's amazing. Yeah. So what is coming up next for you guys? What do you have planned for the next few months? Well, Here we go. Sure. You do it. Uh, well, for the next few months. We're going to be pushing this album that we just put out today, June 12th. Or should I probably not say that? Because <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, not it's June 18th <laughs> right now. <laughs> okay. Dang it. For the next couple months, we're going to be pushing this record we just put out, Riot. And we're going to be doing the whole Warp Tour and some maybe festivals in the UK and just touring our butts off and promoting the record. Yep. And what is your ultimate goal? For this band? I would say one of our ultimate goals is just to continue to create music together and, and be successful at it because um, to us being successful is having um, the same fans and even more um, each time come and enjoy your music and you know sing their hearts out to it and and really get something out of it you know that that's what we care about the most is that people can actually take something from our music what you know whatever it is that they might need or want um, and when they come to our show, you know, we really want people to be able to escape to our music, and um, hopefully we can continue to do that um, and, and just have fun with it. We love making music together, so we want to go, you know, for as long as it, it can possibly go. 
Um, so the last thing, you can just do a quick read, uh, just Tame or Paramore, and you're watching this stuff on download, and however you want to do it. Okay. Just the Let's do it all part. together. Okay. And you're watching this <laughs> That's going to be messy. We can do it, though. No, it'll be good. We're all right. All doing it? We're freaking yeah. doing it together, like a <laughs> freaking soccer team. And you're watching team. Discover and Download. Yeah. All right, ready? Yeah. Ready? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three. Hey, we're Paramore, and you're what? watching Discovery <laughs> Download. I was like, we're Paramore. You messed it up. Ah. I screwed it up. Yeah, it'll be cool. Yeah. We Let's can just do, do it. Okay. One, two, three. Hey, hey we're, we're Paramore, Paramore. You're, you're watching Discovery and Download. download. Oh. That was pretty good. That was so, like, sounds like aliens. It does. It's <laughs> awesome. Discovery and Download. All right, now, now you want to do this? Do you want to do it again? I'm fine with that one, but if you want to do it again, that's fine. Dude, I'll do that. I'm fine, fine with that, too. It's, cool. it's whatever you guys like. Awesome. Sweet. Thank you guys so much. Sorry, we're, we just got off the plane, and we're like, you don't know what's going on. So sorry. You guys are great.